today on my car. I'm going to show you some of the behind the scenes sports card show set in Utah from January 6th, 2024. Check out all the mostly graded cards. Yeah. The times have changed. I'm not out to buy graded cards from these local dealers. I'd rather buy just the cheap old cards. I do not want to be part of the big boys or girls that are just simply just buying graded cards. So I could be part of your group. I don't have thousands of dollars in my pocket to go to each and every card show and buy little graded cards. And I place rookie cards just to get more subs into my channel. Part of my goal for 2024 is to buy a few more cards off of eBay. I buy LA Dodgers, LA Dimes, LA Lakers, and LA Kings as many as possible. With affordability as well. Once that's done, I'm going to buy a few more cards off of eBay. See what I mean? I go to another table. More graded cards. Give you sell. Although the price of the play may be going down, it's too many people have the same card. Or it's the same grade or not. I gotta take a chance of buying cards that are dollar cards off the bins or lower. Even if the cards are a reprint, cards that you collect are supposed to be not for investing. I'm not, not into investing in uh, cards for you know, waiting for the card price to go up. And hopefully, 2024 will be my last year of buying sports cards at the sports card show. Or shows, many other shows I will go to. Uh, this year, I donated more than 3,000 cards. I gave it to one dealer, so I just hint at whatever cards that I want. I mostly didn't have uh, side PC collections. In the two years between 2022 and 2023, I either donated or gave away more than 30,000 baseball, football, basketball cards. A lot of cards here in America. And I don't like how some of these card dealers put their price stickers on top of the top labels. To me, it's very tacky. And by the way, I'm testing out this voiceover. I'm just gonna, I might do this again, although I may have to keep practicing it over and over, and stopping and pausing and stuff like that. I don't know how many more videos I will post in 2024 as to compare to between the years of 2011 to 2022. I didn't post too much in 2023, by the way. So there are a lot of other channels you can always watch rather than watching live. I think very soon the games of baseball, football, and perhaps basketball will come to an end and with all these stupid rules changes and all these rigged games, people complaining week to week. And I don't know if I'm going to be opening any more packs in the future here on video. If I do, I might do it outside a particular parking lot, but who knows? 
Yeah, I believe the last parking lot video I did. Oh no, no, this was in Central Michigan. I did it in front of uh, what is now closed. Right These are always tough to find. They are. I can never find them. Yeah, I did shoot the video. So I opened up my pack. And then scanned the camera towards the right here, which is no longer around. I think most YouTubers like yourself should try to attempt to shoot a video of yourself in the pack outside of the store before it closes. Because you never know one day. And I'm glad I shot the video. And then I told my friends, hey, I sh shot this video. And myself opening the pack in this store. And now this store is no longer around. Now here's some more uh, goodness here. Sorry for the glare. You put magazines as well. You know, full of blaster boxes. There's some more else in there. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? That's where I usually go. Something like Spence Club Show. I think the prices are. It's ridiculously high. I don't know how many people this, but some of these cards in Sacramento, I don't know. And not too many of them. This was only open on Saturday. We were open Sundays. Well, what's funny, it was down here, and I was kind of looking at the corner of my eye, yeah. and then I was like, well, I'm going to go back. Yeah. <laughs> actually, trying to cite PC, plus 52 players. Yeah. Yeah. Baseball, I grew up in Portland, it's all I had was a trailblazer. Trying to cite PC, like just 20, cool. football, 21, yeah. basketball, 10, and hockey, this just one. And... That way, maybe I can yeah, reboot the Monday Night Cards videos. Yeah, so it's a few specials. Yeah, well, yeah. My what grade team was that? PCs. That's kind of, I don't know if I really want to do it again or not. We just have to see. Oh, nice. Future holds. Thank you so much, man. If I do reboot the Monday Night Cards video, I decide to do a voiceover. Get a little quick in the video. Okay, so much. There won't be no more halftime pack breaks. I hear some of the cards that I did buy. I actually didn't buy them. Back from this table that we just seen there. Tom Brady, I just can't see him. Yeah, it's starting to rain. Part of the hint that I'm playing. I'm not going to buy any more sports cards. Or some. Unless someone wants to send me some players that I do not have. Because Teams PC, I might just include it in the description down below of the players and sticker logos that I'm looking for. All right, I'm going to call this off, so that's it, and that's Thank all. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching my life here on Global Seven.